Hi viewers, welcome to the Nesk YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create beam bearing plate in Tecla structures just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we are going to create beam. So click on stay and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this. Now right click on mouse interrupt. Now we are going to change the position of this beam. So double click on this beam, scroll it down and at the depth let's take front then click on modify to create the beam at the top of the level like this above the grid okay now we're going to place the beam bearing plate at this location so go to application and components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in search bar type beam bearing plate you can see you need to type here beam bearing plate now you'll get this component beam bearing plate v2 like this now select this component and pick the part and now pick the position at the grid intersection point to create bearing plate like this now close this window right click on mouse enter click on space right click on mouse redraw you can see by default you'll get beam bearing plate like this now go to edit this beam bearing plate double click on this bearing plate you'll get this window you can see now just drag a window aside to get this view like this you can see now we can change this bearing plate thickness at here for example let's take 3 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now the bearing plate thickness should be 3 by 4 inch okay coming to this width wise now you can see now we have the edge distance from edge of the plate to first bold distance to inch if you want to increase you can increase from here let's take three inch then click on modify you can see now from edge to this first bold distance should be three inch okay let's take here 2.5 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the spacing edge distance here is the 200 inch now we require two number of holes so enter here two and the spacing let's take four inch then click on modify you can see now we have the four inch spacing here for example if you want to maintain the length you can see we have four inch uh, plus two and a half inch and edge distance we're going to take here two and a half inch so total should be nine inch so enter here nine inch then click on modify to maintain total length of the bearing plate nine inch for example let's take eight inch then click on modify you can see now the width should be 8 inch okay now we're going to maintain this edge distance also 2 inch let's take here 2 inch then click on modify you can see now we have the edge distance here 2 inch and the spacing between the two boards is the 4 inch and now this distance also 2 inch according to the width of this plate 8 inch now coming to the lengthwise you can control this board spacing from this option here from center of beam to left side board and from center of beam to right side board spacing you can control from this option and this option for example we're going to take here 5.5 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now from center to edge of this bolt should be five and a half inch and from center to right side bolt spacing should be five and a half inch now coming to the edge distance so you need to take from center of beam to edge of this plate you can control from here for example we're going to take here 8 inch then click on modify you can see now center of this beam to edge of this plate should be 8 inch okay for example we're going to take here 7 inch then click on modify you can see now the center of beam to edge of this plate should be 7 inch according to this option in this way you can control the plate width and length and thickness from these options at here and at this location okay now coming to these bolts you can control the bolt bolt size from this option you can see now we have the by default list of these bolts here you can control the bolt size from here and you can control the length and tolerance and bolt standard from this list okay if you want to create the custom bolts then you, you need to click on here and select this nested 
component option then click on modify you can see by default we have anchor epoxy type bolt here if you want to change you can change from here for example click on here click on this option custom component and click on this anchor for example if you want to maintain this anchor bend rod type of bolt then double click on this anchor rod and you need to select in the right side also you can see now component on left side and components on right side so click on here and click on this custom component click on here anchor rod and double click on this bolt type and then click on modify to see the result here you can see now bend rod type anchor rod like this okay if you want to use the different type then click on here and custom component and anchor rod and for example we're going to take this anchor hook rod type then double click on it and click on here and click on custom and click on this option double click on this anchor hook rod then click on modify to see the result you can see you will get this type of anchor you can see like this modify apply okay you can see by default we have the this anchor rod size is 3 by 4 inch if you want to change this rod size then go to the application components and you need to select this anchor hook rod double click on it for example if you want to maintain this uh, anchor rod size 1 inch then enter here 1 inch then click on modify apply you need to save this uh, size into the standard file so click on save as and then click on load modify apply okay now right click on interrupt now double click on this component now click on here you need to change the component to update this anchor so for example we're going to take this anchor first then later we need to change the again to update the anchor rod size so double click on this epoxy anchor then click on modify apply okay you can see now this updated into the epoxy anchor so double click on it once again then click on here click on custom component and anchor rod let's take this uh, anchor hook rod double click on it you need to take in right side also click on here click on custom component and anchor rods and double click on this hook rod then click on modify apply okay you can see now the anchor rod size should be one inch according to this standard size okay you can see you can check click on this anchor you can see rod size is the one inch now coming to this position you can see these two anchors are merge each other so we need to rotate this anchor 180 degrees right side so click on this option select object and component then select this anchor rod then go to the top view by using the shortcut control p now zoom it now we need to rotate this anchor in right side so right click on mouse move special rotate and you need to pick the rotation point at here now you can see now we have the angle 180 degrees so click on move to rotate right like this then click on ok right click on the center now click on space use the shortcut control p zoom it you can see now the anchor position properly we have like this similarly we are going to change this position also select this anchor then go to the top view by using the shortcut control p now zoom it right click on mouse more special rotate now we need to select the origin position so select the end point of the anchor then we have the angle is 180 degrees so click on move okay right click on mouse enter click on space right click on mouse redrawing now use the shortcut control p and zoom it you can see now we have the anchors position also properly in this model like this okay that's it about how to create beam bearing plate in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you